Welcome to Aid to the Church in Needs, Where God Weeps, a program dedicated to the situation of the suffering church around the world. The time has come when God has seen the history of the Sudan. This is the time that the Sudan has to be in truth. In January 2011, after a series of brutal civil wars and the loss of millions of lives, the people of southern Sudan overwhelmingly voted to secede from the Muslim-governed north. The referendum was peaceful and confirmed by the UN with 99% of those registered casting their ballots in favor of independence. There was a huge uh, movement of people to, to vote. People in Tarit, they went to queue at midnight. They told reporters, we could not sleep, so what did we do? We went to the voting station, we sat down, we sang, we danced, we talked, waiting for this big moment that was happening. I was really happy. That is the first time for me to vote in my life. I'm now 42 years old. You can imagine it. The Catholic Church played an important role in preparing the Southern Sudanese for the referendum. The pulpit became a place of teaching regarding the terms of the peace agreement and the voting process. The 101 days of prayer initiated by the bishops was crucial to the peaceful disposition of hearts and minds and the non-violent outcome on that historic day. The people of South Sudan were inspired through the Catholic Church. Every day of those 101 days, we are prepared with prayers, with intentions. Our churches, we are guided very much to really prepare spiritually. With their homeland now free from war, Christians trapped for years in temporary shelters in the Khartoum refugee camps are returning to the south to start a new life. It is estimated that between 800,000 and 1 million people have decided to leave the north where they have lived in refugee camps around Khartoum and returned to the land of their ancestors. Many return because they have roots here. They are Christians, and here God looks favorably upon them. However, their joy is measured. They are not returning to a paradise where life is handed them on a plate. On the contrary, they must be self-reliant. I was suffering in Khartoum. It was very bad. After the peace agreement was signed, I came back to Juba. Even here in Juba, we are suffering. I break the stones here, and if I sell them, I will buy something to eat. The Catholic Church, which has always stood by the side of the oppressed through the dire times of war, will now see its mission change and focus on building a strong community of the faithful. The task is great, and locals are counting on the help of Christians from around the world. The Christians here are people who came from different places. They said they want to have a church, a place for, for God. So this church was built by the Christians themselves. When they started, this place was just it was a very abundant, it was abundant place. So they said they want to have a church. This is why they made their local contribution. All the building it is from their own hands. The people of South Sudan are awakening to the birth of the world's newest nation, their nation, which they built on the foundation of suffering and prayer. Here is a new country as religious leadership. We are calling for the understanding, the generosity, the charity of the whole world. There are human beings here also like me, like myself, who need to be supported. Amen.